Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T-Game and Tech. And today I'm bringing you guys a review of the app for Google Chrome for all devices. And I was really happy to hear that this app was coming to devices because this is my main browser on my desktop. And so the biggest thing about this app is that it will sync between all of your devices you have signed into Google Chrome. And so if you just look, um, if we first just look at the actual app itself, it looks a lot like the desktop version. Um, you have your address bar back, um, forward refresh, your tabs up top. And then over here, you just have a little button for your different settings, um, cognito mode, incognito tab, other devices, email, print page, settings, help. Then we have a voice input button, then we have a favorite button. But there are no extensions on this version of Google Chrome. Um, I use extensions on my desktop, but you can't add extensions to any of the mobile versions. Um, this is just what you're stuck with. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Extensions might slow it down. Um, I don't really need extensions when I'm browsing on the iPad or my Galaxy S3. And so it's not really a big deal to me. But I know a lot of people do like their extensions, and that might be a put off to some people. The app itself, I think, is very fast. If we just refresh this end gadget page, um, you'll see how quick it loads. And there's not really any lag. There's a little bit of lag when it's loading. Um, but after it's loaded, there's really not any at all. Um, it's pinch to zoom is really fast, fluid. There's hardly any lag there. And so I think it works very well. And it is my preferred mobile app now. I used to use Safari, but now I use this over Safari, especially because of the syncing capabilities. And those syncing capabilities, if you go to open a new tab, you'll see the different devices you have synced in the Google Chrome and you have signed in. Um, right now on my iPhone, I have just the Google website. Um, if I open another tab, I have the YouTube page on my subscriptions page. And so um, it's really nice if you're going from something on your desktop to something on your um, iPad or your phone, um, you can just go straight to those videos um, and not have to worry about typing in the whole uh, big URL or anything. And the smaller version of Google Chrome um, for phones looks basically exactly the same. So I'm just gonna go to that Engadget page I had on my iPad and it's gonna load up. And the only difference here is you don't have your tabs up top. You still have your bar. Um, you don't really have the back or forward buttons because on the Galaxy S3, you just use your back button here. Um, but it looks basically the same, just a single bar up top minus the tabs. If you want to go to your tabs, you just click on that button right there and you can uh, thumb through your tabs. And if you want to get rid of one, you can just flick it out of the way. And so that's really nice. And just to go to a new tab, press that button right there and you can search um, from your sync tabs. And so let's go to the Google one for my iPhone and it loads up. So it works very well between all devices. I'm um, very fast. It even loads the history if you saw uh, when I went to the Engadget one. I didn't have this open on my phone before, but I clicked the back button and it went back to the search that was the page before it. So it actually loads the history too, which is a very nice feature. So I definitely really enjoy the syncing capabilities. Um, other than that, there's really not too much to the app. Um, like I said, you just have some basic options right here, your forward and back. Um, I think it performs very well. I haven't had any issues having to re-sign in to any of my devices. If I signed in once, um, I'm signed in forever, I guess. I haven't had to have to sign in ever again. And so it works very well. The only issue I could see was that you can't install extensions. And like I said, that's not a really big deal for me. I mean, that's really the only bad thing I could find about this app. I mean, it works. Um, it's fast. I think it's fast. It's minimalistic. It doesn't take up a bunch of room of your screen. And so I would definitely suggest it if you are looking for a mobile browser that syncs your different tabs. I know in Mountain Line that just got released for Macs, you can now sync your tabs with your iPods, your iPhones, and your iPads, and that works very nice. But if you're looking for a PC equivalent, um, I would highly suggest Google Chrome because we know Internet Explorer is not going to release anytime soon and nobody would use it anyways. And so I would highly suggest this if you're looking for a browser that syncs your apps and that is fast and that works well. Haven't had it crash on me at all. And so I would have no problem suggesting it to anybody who's looking for a mobile browser. That's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review of Google Chrome. Let me know in the comments below what app you use for your browsing. If you use Google Chrome, Safari, or any other browser that's out there, um, just go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check me out on all my social links. They're also in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for all your tech and game related videos. So that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.